Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. The EGR valve is very important when regulating exhaust emissions and can cause great damage when it is not working properly. The EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation System, which is a system that was designed to take back exhaust gas into the vehicle. It is mostly done to reduce NOx emissions and cylinder temperatures. It is responsible for controlling the flow of exhaust gases. Before we continue, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. What is the role of the EGR valve? As you may know, the EGR is present in your car to reduce emissions, which it can accomplish by rerouting exhaust gases from the car engine back to the combustion chambers. This action helps reduce the temperature within combustion chambers, thereby mitigating any problem and impact on the engine, which can lead to environmental damage to the surrounding. Types of EGR valves There are numerous types of EGR valves, but the foremost types of EVR include 1. Diesel high pressure EGR valves, this first diverts the high soot and exhaust gas flow before getting into the diesel filter. 2. Diesel low pressure EGR valves, this one averts exhaust gas after it has passed the diesel particulate filter, but for this EGR valve, the gas it lets in has a lower flow and is almost clean and free of soot. Later the gas will be passed back with a pipe through the inlet manifold. 3. Gasoline EGR valves. These valves divert exhaust gases like a high-pressure diesel equivalent. Here the exhaust gases are drawn in, and the flow is regulated with the opening and closing of the EGR valve, which is possible due to the vacuum created by cylinder depression. 4. Vacuum-operated EGR valves. This uses a vacuum solenoid to vary the vacuum to the diaphragm, during an, in turn, open and closing of the EGR. Some of the valves here comprise a feedback sensor that informs the ECU the engine control unit, of the valve's position. Digital EGR valves feature a solenoid or stepper motor and a feedback sensor. The digital EGR valves receive a pulse width modulated signal from the ECU to regulate exhaust gas flow. What damage can a faulty EGR valve cause? When the EGR is faulty, the engine of the car starts overheating. This will lead to the breakdown of the engine oil feeding the turbocharger. The bearings in the turbocharger will start failing because of the problem with the engine oil. Replacing the turbocharger can be very costly. However, if you repair it without solving the EGR problem, it will only repeat itself. Lubricating oil will start leaking into the combusting chamber due to engine overheating. The engine will now start running on oil instead of fuel. The driver might be unable to stop the engine again once it has gotten to this. The engine will then exhaust the oil and end up breaking down. Can a bad EGR valve cause overheating? If you have been asking yourself this question, the answer is yes. It is one of the first symptoms of a faulty EGR. Because the EGR will restrict gas flow through the cooler, the engine will experience a large amount of heat, leading to overheating. The restriction of heat through the cooler is caused by carbon built up in it. This will no longer let it cool exhaust gases, leading to overheating. What problems does a bad EGR valve cause? Failed EGR can cause problems with other system parts, such as spark plugs, fuel litters, engine sensors, fuel pump regulators, or spark plug wires. It will also affect the air-fuel ratio of the vehicle. Problems will arise in the power and acceleration of the vehicle. The fuel will no longer be efficient, and your car's emissions will increase. Symptoms of a bad EGR valve A damaged EVR can cause different damages and problems with the EGR system's slow operation, affecting performance. You might notice symptoms. 1. The check engine light is on. When there is an issue with the car's EGR, the check light will notify the driver of the problem. 2. The rough idle is a common symptom of a faulty EGR valve. The exhaust gas recirculation leads to rough idling if it isn't functioning. 3. A faulty EGR valve will lead to poor engine performance. It can affect the car's air-fuel ratio and reduce power and fuel efficiency. The car might also have a problem while accelerating. 4. When the car accelerates, it may make a knocking or pinging sound. The faulty valve isn't allowing the right amount of exhaust to dilute the air-fuel mixture. Continuing this might lead to failure in other components. 5. Your car will start performing poorly and slowly. 6. The fuel consumption will increase if a damaged EGR valve is damaged. 7. If the exhaust gas leaks, you will always smell fuel. 
When you notice any of these symptoms, you must take your vehicle to professionals to avoid more damage. Can I drive with a bad EGR valve? When you drive with a faulty EGR, you increase the probability of damaging your car's engine. EGR valve uses exhaust gas to cool the combustion chamber, which makes it cooler because it does not consume much oxygen. When your EGR valve is faulty, the emission will increase, which might cause overheating. Once the engine is overheating, it is only a matter of time before it destroys the engine. The piston might seize or expand because of the high temperature. It might also destroy some other components like valves and crankshafts. It is not advisable to drive with a faulty EGR, be patient and let it be fixed. How does an EGR valve work? Exhaust gas recirculation is an emission control system that reduces the amount of NOx, nitrogen oxide, in the vehicle's exhaust gases. Exhaust gas comprises emissions such as hydrocarbons, carbon monoxide, particulate matter, and nitrogen oxides. Its main function is to reduce emissions. How does it do that? It is very simple as the EGR reroutes the engine's gases into the combustion chambers. It also has two main settings that are open and close. When the engine starts up, it is closed, but during idle and low speed, the EGR will start opening gradually. During acceleration, it will close to enable a huge amount of oxygen to enter the cylinder. There are two types of EGR, vacuum and electronically operated valves. Old cars usually use the former. They use a vacuum to open and close the valve. On the other hand, modern cars use electronically controlled EGR, mostly controlled using the vehicle's ECM, engine's control module. This is all we've got in today's video. I hope this video was helpful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.